This video is focused on a special case of node voltage method uh, where we have a source that uh, a voltage source that is connected between a node and a ground. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and as we go through I'll discuss more detail on kind of what's the difference here. So as we talked about in the past node voltage method node voltage method is a method that uses kcl uh, kirchhoff's current law um, to to analyze the circuit analyze meaning finds the voltage and the currents in the circuit uh, and then as we had discussed before in previous videos um, the first thing you need to do is find out how many essential nodes you have essential nodes are nodes that have more than two branches coming together one of the obvious one would be all this branch on all these connections on the bottom. This whole thing is one node. And typically we take the node that has the highest number of connect, uh, branches coming to it and we'll call it reference, which arbitrary, it's somewhat arbitrary, but we call this V reference and is always equal to zero. Now, and then the other nodes we have, we have a node here, which is basically if we want to completely draw it as that. And then we have another essential node in here. There is another node here, but it's not essential. It's just a node. Uh, but we don't necessarily label that or work with that in a case here, in a node voltage method. So in this particular case, we have three nodes. One is reference set to zero. So we would be able to write um, um, two equations. One for the sum of all the currents that are leaving V1. Another one is sum of all the currents that are leaving V2. Now, when we go to write KCL for V1, something interesting happens. Uh, for this, it would be easy. We've talked about it. The current going down here is going to be V1 minus 0 divided by 8,000. That gives us a current here. This is a little more involved, but not too bad. If the voltage here is V2, then the voltage here, here would be V2 plus 10. So if we want the current, if we want the current, so the voltage would be V1 minus v2 plus 10 divided by 4000 that gives it a current we have a bit of a problem here because there is no way for us to figure out what the world what, if there was a the only the issue here is that there's no resistor here so we can't figure out the, finding the by finding the voltage and the uh, resistance what would be the current which but that's not too bad we, we can't write a kirchhoff's voltage law but all we're looking for is to find v1 and v2 and this is really mm -hmm. a gift mm -hmm. that is given to us where now we know if this is zero and i only got a voltage source between there and the reference then also i'll simply means that v1 is equal to 5 volt and we're done so this special case actually makes our life easier not harder and notice the key is you have just a source a voltage source to ground Okay, so the rest is going to be more or less what we've all of us done, which is KCL for V2 would be basically V2. Um, in, this, in this particular case, we know that uh, V1, um, it's in this side of the V1, is going to be V1 minus 10. So what we're going to have is going to be um, V1 um, minus... 10 uh, minus divided by um, 4,000 uh, plus V2 over 2,000 and uh, plus V2 over 1000 for the last branch and all that equal to zero. So let's just make sure I got this right. The way the way I usually do this, it says, okay, I want to know the voltage across this. Uh, and I know that as, as I walk this way, uh, if we, the voltage here it would be a V. 2 plus 
10 because this V2 is here, 10 is above that, and I want a voltage across here, and since I'm on this node, I want it to look like this. So actually, when I do this, this would be V2 plus 10 minus V1 over 4,000. As you notice, by doing this, I find that here, this really should be V2 plus 10 volts. So anytime you're in doubt, go through the process of just walking through and figuring out exactly what the voltage across the resistor is that you want to find. Okay, for this case, now I have one equation here, second one equation, second equation. I only have two unknowns, so 